guys this morning i had a chocolate banana smoothie i was really craving chocolate so i made me a smoothie um the bananas you see coming out of that bag right there are some frozen bananas that i popped into the freezer last night i try to freeze my bananas the night before i'm going to use them um i also actually made this a smoothie by using some room temperature bananas so i use one bunch room temperature and one bunch um frozen i didn't eat all that alone if it was just me i would just use one bunch but uh i was making it for two 232 ounce um jars of smoothie so i use two bunches and usually that makes about enough i think i actually used a little more than that i think i used like two and a half i had like a small bunch that only had four bananas in it so i used quite a bit of bananas um but here you see me throwing in some of the frozen bananas and i'm also peeling some of the fresh bananas and that makes it have a perfect consistency for me where it's nice and, and chilled and cool because of the frozen bananas but at the same time it's not like nice cream um, where it's like stiffer so I like to drink it out of my glass straws so having half of it room temperature allows me to do that. I also try to sneak in some greens anywhere I can. The more greens that I have in my day, the better. Um, greens are where you're gonna get your protein and just so many other vitamins. It's just dark leafy greens are abundant in vitamins and minerals and nutrients. They're nutrient dense. So I always try to, you know, get them in where I can. Those I also pre-chop greens um, so that they're kind of always on hand and ready or then I'm going to make them for a salad or a smoothie and so those are a mix of collards and spinach finely chopped so I like it in my smoothie especially if it's going to be like a chocolate smoothie uh, I should have done a green smoothie but I didn't I really was craving chocolate but um there's the cacao powder I'm adding to it. That's what's going to give me the chocolate flavor. And you really can't even taste the greens at all. I mean, it's the best way to get greens, especially if you don't like greens. I personally love greens. I love the flavor. But for those of you who don't really like greens, this is a good sneaky way to get them in where you don't taste them at all. I mean, you can't see them. You can't taste them. It's like they're not even there. Or if you have like a child or a kid or a husband <laughs> who don't really like greens or don't want to see them, just put it, give them a chocolate smoothie. They'll have no idea that the greens are in there. Once I got it all blended up, I got to see that I really didn't have enough in there. So I decided to add some more bananas so that it could give me the volume that I needed um, for the basically 64 ounces of smoothie for both people that I was making it for. So I'm gonna add some more bananas. And this is my result. I threw some almond slivers on there and some chocolate crumbles and it was amazing. Next, for a snack, I munched on this fresh and very sweet and ripe, juicy <laughs> pineapple. It was so good, guys. Like, it was so perfect. The amount of sweet and the amount of, not even sour, but just... You know, just that perfect balance. Um, it was like perfectly ripe. It, it gave it that perfect balanced flavor. I loved it. Pineapples, when they're perfectly ripe, taste like the best candy to me. It's like God's candy. I love pineapples so much. In the summertime, I tend to eat a lot of them. But it's been warmer than normal. 
this winter and they've been on a an amazing sale at our local grocery stores so I've been getting them and typically they don't ripen appropriately during this time of year but lately because again because it's been so warm they've been ripening perfectly and so um, if they're gonna ripen appropriately then I'll eat them but if they start getting to where it's so cold that they won't ripen right then I just won't purchase them anymore it's really not their season where I live anyways, but as long as it's still good, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I love cutting fresh pineapple. It gives me such a satisfaction. It just makes me feel so peaceful just chopping it. <laughs> I could never eat pineapple in a can actually after eating fresh pineapple sorry guys for my little chipped bowl but it's my favorite bowl ever in the entire world and I hate that it has like those two little chips on it but I love that bowl the colors make me feel alive just eating out of it and looking at it <laughs> And for dinner, I had this really amazing salad. I had a huge um, serving bowl. That's actually a really, that's actually a really big serving bowl. It doesn't look that way, but it's um, a serving bowl. So I had a huge salad, and I actually forgot I really wasn't supposed to put tomatoes on it. But I got carried away and started moving on autopilot, and they worked out anyways. I made that dressing. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't tell, show you how I made the dressing, but honestly, I just went with my soul, and I had no idea how this dressing was going to turn out either, so I really couldn't tell you about it because I it was a surprise to me how it came out. I knew what I was going for. I knew the flavor I was going for, but I still was experimenting making it, but I promise I will make it for you guys another time on camera and share the recipe with you guys because it was amazing. Um, I'm throwing on some chia seeds because I really was going for like that poppy seed effect but I didn't have poppy seeds and I had chia seeds instead and I actually really love chia seeds I like the texture and the they don't really have flavor but I really like the texture of them so I was throwing some chia seeds I also had some fresh sprouts that I'd grown um I had those just kind of hanging out in my refrigerator and those are alfalfa sprouts along with a three-part mix um, sprouts which has broccoli sprouts and some other sprouts and that's the end that's um, my end result it was so good one thing that I didn't share with you guys is I threw some walnuts in there and that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.